Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back and hello anyone that is new. My name is Ellis, I'm a mum of two boys and I live over here in the UK and today I'm sharing another good old cleaning video with you with some summer meal prep as well. So with the kids now in the summer holidays and we have them home for around six weeks or so, I need to come up with some creative ways to keep their lunches a little bit different. Clayton has come a little bit accustomed to school dinners and having lots of variety. So I needed to think up some new ways and think up of some new meals that I could share with him over the next six weeks on a weekly basis that both of the kids would enjoy. So Channel Woman Iceland have actually partnered up and decided to set me a little challenge called What's For Lunch. In this, I basically need to buy five days worth of lunches to feed both of my kids and to see if I can do it on a budget. And this is amazing, as the government recently announced that they were continuing the summer meal voucher scheme throughout the summer holidays, whereby they give each of the children 15 pounds for a whole week to buy food if you are eligible for the scheme. Now, I'm actually buying food for two children on that budget so let's take a look at what I got so all of this came in at 15 pounds I can't believe how much I got and I thought I'd show you the proof. So here is this. I can't believe I did this challenge on just £15. It came in at £14.34 for all of this. So I've got some staples. So I've got five slices of cooked ham. I also picked up some mild cheddar, 10 large eggs. And then I also picked up some other little bits as well. So I have 10 chocolate chip muffins. Now there is definitely way too many here for the kids. These will be a little treat, but there'll definitely be some left over for me and Adam as well. I also picked up this bag of mixed peppers. Now I love the frozen sections and food that they do at Iceland. It simply means that I can chuck them in the freezer and then grab out whatever I need when I need it, which is exactly what you need as a busy mum and parent, especially with two boisterous little boys. I also picked up a tin of chopped tomatoes and another little treat for the boys, which are these custard creams, which I know they're going to love. They are biscuit addicts. Then I also picked up this pure orange juice. Now my little boys are very, very weird and like this watered down, that's how they prefer it. But they prefer it more than squash, so who knows, but that will make it last even longer. I also picked up some white bloom bread, one of my favorite breads, I must admit. This is so nice. Oh, I can't wait to dive into this myself. Again, this will go really, really far. Alongside some red pepper hummus, a whole cucumber, some serene loaf, another favorite from my boys, some bananas, a whole kilo bag of pasta, and also four panini rolls for just a pound. Now, one of the things that I love about Iceland is the fact that their foods are generally around one, two, or three pounds for all of their items, if not less. So that's one of the reasons why I love them because all of their items are just super affordable. Now, on the menu for this week, I've come up with quite a few different ideas, which I know the boys are gonna absolutely love. So one day we're planning to have panini pizzas. I know they're gonna absolutely love this. They love pizzas, they love bread, and I thought it was a really nice twist, and they can actually help me and get involved as well, which means that ultimately it's another activity during the summer holidays that I can keep them busy with. Now, with that, I can obviously put on the ham, the cheese, and the peppers, but you guys can use whatever you have in the cupboards as well. You can really go wild with this and make up your mind on what you wanna pop onto your pizzas. Now, because I had four paninis in there, one day they can also have a cheese and ham panini as well, a firm favorite in our house. I'm also gonna whiz the boys up a really quick omelet another day. I love making omelets, they're super quick. I find that it gets packed full of protein and you can hide loads of other vegetables in them as well. So again, you've got the choice. I'm probably gonna again have cheese, eggs, and peppers in mine. But again, you can put in whatever you fancy. Then we have a huge loaf of bread to use as well. So depending on what the boys want, they can either have sandwiches, well, I was going to jazz it up a little bit, and I actually really enjoy making the boys pinwheels, but instead of using wraps, I just use loaves of bread. It really kind of changes things up a little bit for them, and I simply cut off the crust and roll out the bread. I enjoy eating the crust, and that way, the boys get something different, and then I just cut them into little sections, and they look a lot better and more interesting than a sandwich. I'm going to pack these again with ham, cheese, maybe some peppers, whatever it is they fancy. And then the last thing on the menu is a vegetable tomato pasta. My boys are pasta obsessed, as am I. So this one always goes down a treat. And again, you can change this up in so many different ways, but we love peppers in our house along with tomatoes. So that's generally our go-to when it comes to pasta. 
And alongside all of this, obviously they'll have their snacks as well. So we've got the Serene Loaf, a firm favourite in our house, as well as the biscuits, the cakes, they have loads of different options. And we also have cucumber sticks that I can make up from the cucumber. I can pop those inside the pinwheels or leave them on the side. They've got the red pepper hummus, which I can't tell you how amazing that red pepper hummus is. So you definitely need to give it a try. We have that as well, as well as our big carton of orange juice as well give them as a little treat when they want something a little bit sweeter than just water. But today for lunch, I'm gonna be making them the pasta. So I'm gonna get cracking and start making that now. And I think I may even make me an Adam Sum too. the kids absolutely loved having this lunch meal and even went in for seconds and we had loads left over too which meant that we could have it as a dinner or a lunch for another day as well we love it mm-hmm mm. And one of the things I love about this lunch is all the hidden veggies. I can put anything in here with the tomato based sauce and Parker will eat it. He's such a fussy eater, just like the cucumber I purchased. If it has a dip such as the red pepper hummus, then he'll demolish it. But on its own, he's not so keen. And I also wanted to mention that if you're looking for even more inspiration, then don't forget to check out some of the videos over on Channel Mum. And they also have some meal planners as well in collaboration with Iceland. They have lots of themed meal planners and it links through to Iceland's great range of products. It does all the hard work for you when shopping and looking for items to fill in your basket. But now it's time to tidy up for lunch and get the rest of the house tidy and clean. Now this was obviously spread out throughout the day. Um, there was lots to do and obviously I had the kids as well. So it was a bit of a manic one. As always, my cleaning videos can always stretch out far and wide. But I'm going to start off by giving the kitchen a good clean. I always find this is one of the messiest areas, especially when both the kids are at home. Because we have breakfast, lunch and dinner in the rooms when normally I can kind of get rid of them and get them outside or they're at nursery or wherever it may be. Now this is all cooled down as well. I can pop this in a little container and pop it in the fridge. I know Adam is probably gonna love this and he'll probably end up adding some sort of chili flakes or something like that to jazz it up as well. But you can add whatever spices you want into this as well, which is one of the reasons why I love it so much. And then I'm gonna start packing everything away and tidying up. My dishwasher again, I mean, is already so busy. I don't understand how it can be this busy this earlier on in the day. So I'm gonna pop it on so I can wash up the majority of the stuff in here from lunch and from breakfast. So it'll probably need to go on again at dinner time. And then this is real life so please do not judge me but this is the mess we literally only got home the day before the evening before and um, we was away visiting family so this was all the mess we got in about 12 o'clock that night so Adam's around and I'm getting him to kind of help me out bring stuff up as I pop it onto the stairs and sort and organize um, but there's everything everywhere there's shopping baskets from things that we purchased last week right before we left to go down and visit family and then obviously there's all of our laundry some of it's clean because we washed it when we was down there some of it's dirty so I've just got so much to sort and then there's like rubbish and things floating everywhere 
So yeah, I'm just gonna finish tidying this up. And once this is tidied up, then I'm practically done. And it's now a lot later in the day as well. So the kids have gone to bed now. So this is kind of like the chaos from the rest of the day. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video jam packed with some summer lunch meal prep ideas as well as some cleaning and motivation for you all. Don't forget to let me know down below some of your favourite lunches so I can use them myself and get some more inspiration for the kids and I will see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye guys!